Hello again everyone, Christian here, and uh, today I'm going to be giving my opinion on the latest release of Dead by Daylight on the Nintendo Switch. Now in this video I'm not going to go ahead and talk about, you know, the strategies or how you play Dead by Daylight, because I'm going to assume you already know how to do that, and if you don't, there are much better YouTubers who could tell you better than I could, but I'm basically just going to talk about some of the main issues that this game has and the few good things that I have to say about it. First, let's talk about some of the things that aren't so bad about this version of the game. It definitely feels like Dead by Daylight. It doesn't feel like you're playing a massive downgrade of the game. It, it plays j pretty much just like it would on PC or on, or on any other console, with uh, some exceptions which I'll get to later, but it definitely feels like Dead by Daylight portable. It's not too bad. Something that I was very surprised about in playing this is that there are actually a significant amount of people who purchased this. Survivor games would take probably, I don't know, maybe 10 seconds to load into. And I was playing this game at 4 this morning because I couldn't sleep. So that was pretty impressive. The base game gives you actually a pretty decent amount of DLC. For killers, you get Hag, Doctor, Clown, and Spirit. Along with the base game killers, Trapper, Wraith, Hillbilly, Nurse, and Huntress, for a total of 9 killers. For survivors, you start out with all of the base game, obviously, and then you also receive Ace, Bill, Fang, Kate, and Adam, for a total of 11 survivors. This is a pretty generous amount, considering you start off with 6 survivors and 5 killers in the base game. And that's pretty much it for the uh, goods of this game. Now let's get into the not-so-goods. First of all, the graphics. Now I know I can't be too picky considering the hardware we're dealing with, but there have been other games that have come out on the Switch that have looked much better and have been much better optimized than this game. Up close from either Survivor or Killer's perspective, the textures don't look too bad, but as you get even a little far away, uh, the textures start to get extremely blurry. Take for instance the auras. The auras are just blurs. You really can't even tell what they are. Like, look at this screenshot here that I took on my Switch of this hooked person. You really can't even tell it's a person, and they're very hard to see. <laughs> it looks really bad. Next, let's talk about the price. This game was $40 on the Nintendo eShop. That is insane. Steam, on Steam, this game is $20. And very often, like right now, because there's a special going on, there's a promotion going on, Dead by Daylight is $10 for the base game. You are paying extra for the ability to play it on the go, even though that's not something that Dead by Daylight developers developed. You're paying extra for, you know, Switch hardware, which is insane. That's so stupid. Now, I realize the extra DLC is probably factored into the cost of this, but... This is by far the worst way to experience Dead by Daylight on any console. So the fact that it's $40 just for the, the base game on this console is insane. To explain why this is the worst way to experience the game, let's start to talk about some of the major flaws it has. Day one that this came out, it had an issue. As soon as they updated it and made it available for, you know, people who had pre-ordered it, it would not open. They had to develop a quick patch so that people could play the game on day one. What? Another massive issue that's still going on to my knowledge, now it's, it's you know, the second day that's been out, but still, I have lost progress of my rank on both Killer and Survivor. Every single time that I restart the game, Dead by Daylight, my rank progress completely resets. I have been rank 18 like three times now on Survivor. And every time I close the game, it resets back to rank 20 with zero pips. That is infuriating. And how did they do this? I mean, other console versions don't have this issue, so how did this happen? Now granted, because this game has been released so soon, rank doesn't really matter that much. But, you know, the longer this is out, the more people are going to do better. And that, that'll at least give the, the babies who have never played this game before, because believe me, there are a lot right now. But the babies who have never played this game before will be able to have fun and not get destroyed by a killer who is normally rank, I don't know, 2 on PC. But instead decided, oh yeah, I want to try this on Switch. Another major issue I have with this is about the optimization again. Um, 
regardless of if you're in TV mode or in handheld mode, you are forced at 30 frames per second. And as someone who plays normally on my PC, which is pretty decent, with 144 hertz, higher than 60 FPS, whatever, this is like, it hurts me to play this. Like the fact that the textures and the rendering distance is, you know, they're pretty low, so why wouldn't this game be able to run at 60 FPS? This is just this is a pretty minor gripe, but this is a personally, I can't stand 30 FPS. And it's part of the reason why I assume that this is the worst way to experience the game on any console. Speaking of the consoles, they don't even have this optimized for PS4 or Xbox One, which have significantly better hardware, it's significantly beefier hardware, and it still runs at 30 FPS, it just looks better. Like, don't you think you should fix the other ones first before you release for a new console? In their livestream that they posted on late February, they mentioned trying to optimize consoles to go to 60 FPS, and that's kind of started happening, but there's no reason to add a new console to this development of optimizing the previous consoles. It's just giving yourself more work, and you're just getting further and further away from your goal, and that's going to piss off a lot of your customers, so I don't understand the logic behind this. It's cool that it's on Switch, but you have other issues to worry about than getting it on a new console. Fix your other ones first, please. Speaking of adding in more consoles, please add crossplay. I don't want to grind for this game on three different consoles. I don't know why I have this game on three different consoles. I don't even know why I pre-ordered the Nintendo Switch version of the game. I think I saw that they were offering a Trapper cosmetic. I don't even play Trapper. So, but I was just like, oh yeah, of course I'll download this. Why wouldn't I pay 40 bucks for this game that I already own on PlayStation 4 and on PC? Just, just please, just please implement crossplay. Relating to graphics and optimization again, the offerings look horrible. I don't think there's any reason for them to look that bad. They shouldn't take up that many resources, but you can't even tell what they are unless you hover over them. As far as the gameplay goes, for the most part it's pretty normal, but I have had a major issue playing a survivor. It seems like killer's lunges are way longer than they usually are. It's probably because of the difference in frame rates or something. I don't know why, but I feel like I get hit through pallets and over pallets a lot more in this version of the game. I don't know what would cause that, but it's very infuriating. I love having to be, you know, like three feet ahead of a pallet before I can drop it, and then I still get hit through it anyway. That's, that's a lot of fun. My final complaint about this isn't necessarily about the game itself, this is kind of me just kind of complaining about the Switch's speakers, but you need to have headphones to play this game. You cannot hear very well, especially like Terror Radius, like the killer could be right behind you and you might not even know it, especially with a gen making noise right next to you. Uh, that's, just, that's just a note for me and for anyone else who might be interested. You should probably wear headphones in playing this game. You should, like in general, but especially on Switch, because the speakers are not very good. Thank you for listening to me ramble about this. I'm very passionate about it for some reason. Probably because I spent so much money on it, and it's kind of a piece of crap. But it's still playable. And, you know, it's it's dead by daylight on the go. So, if that's reason enough for you to buy this game, then go ahead and buy it. But for anyone else, you might want to just go ahead and wait, maybe till they hopefully optimize it a little better. They add in the other killers, like uh, Freddy, Freddy and Cannibal. These killers aren't even in there yet. I'm sure it's some sort of licensing issue, but they're not, not only are they not included in the base game, but they're also just not even there at all. But I'm sure those killers will be there eventually. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you like the video. I probably won't do any other videos like this again, but, you know, if, if you want me to, I might. I don't know. You know I'm, not, I'm not set in my ways. I'd, I'd be fine making another review video. Whatever. Alright, I'm done talking now. Bye.